How do you know if somebody doesn't change the litter of his or her cat often enough? You can smell it. You can smell the unmistakable, pungent smell of ammonia. And this is not animal specific. Ammonia is released from every animal's urine, including sheep. But sheep are still special, and here is why. They are on the field usually in a large number. They spend the whole day there in most of the year. And they are being undisturbed, polluting air directly. Moreover, a sheep usually pees 20 times a day. Yeah, these fluffy little creatures are real criminals. However, ammonia emission depends not only on how many animals are on the field or how many times they pee a day. It depends also on meteorological factors, especially temperature. A four to five degrees warming can even double ammonia emission. So this is what I'm investigating in my PhD, how climate factors affect ammonia emission from sheep and basically all the other grazing animals and how this affects air pollution. I could answer the question sitting next to a sheep with a thermometer in my hand, but I have a less smelly idea. Step one, modeling ammonia emission from a urine patch. Step two, doing the same for a field with many urine patches. And step three, applying this field scale model for country scale in an atmospheric chemistry transport model. This model can simulate the reactions between atmospheric pollutants and their transport as well. I've already done the first step, and my model for a urine patch works reasonably well. But will my model work at country scale as well? Does temperature have an effect on ammonia at this scale as well? I've done a model experiment for this. In the atmospheric chemistry transport model I used, ammonia emission is totally independent of temperature. So what I did, I applied a temperature dependent factor to all the agricultural ammonia emissions in the UK. And the result, atmospheric concentration of ammonia this is what you can smell, seems to be very sensitive to temperature. Because of the variability of temperature, even if seasonal cycle changed. Ammonia emission, climate factors. Why is it important to know the relationship between them? Two words, climate change. Excessive ammonia emission can threat water, air, and soil quality. To predict how these threats will change in the future and to handle them effectively, we need a clear understanding of the climate-related dynamics of ammonia emission. Thank you for listening.